the BMT gym last year, there was literally one video to help me pack, and I ended up not needing half of what I took with me. So hopefully this helps you guys. So first things first, you're gonna want a good bag. Um, I got up this duffel bag from Walmart. It was like 20 bucks, if that. Um, to me, it's a little too big for what I needed, uh, but by the end of the, the training, I was really thankful because I needed all this space. A lot of people just took like a book bag. Some people brought like a suitcase, which is way too much because you end up carrying that to the dorms. You don't want that. Um, so yeah, duffel bag's good. It's okay. Um, if you don't fill it up on the way to BMT, it'll definitely be full by the time you're leaving. So just a heads up. Um, in the bag. So first things first, um, as far as like pins and stuff, you absolutely do not need to take pins, notebook paper, envelopes, stamps, nothing, because all of that is issued to you on the first night. Um, I made the mistake of thinking, holy crap, I need all this stuff. And when I got there, I needed none of it. It just made my life ten times harder um, as far as putting all the stuff in the little drawers that they gave us. Um, so, yeah, don't do that. You don't need it. Um, so, a lot of people have questions about clothes you're allowed to take. I took colorful stuff as far as, like, undergarments. Um, these sports bras you can get from Walmart. They're like so cheap, but they were like my saving grace. They're so freaking comfortable. Anyways, I took like six of these because you're going to want them. Um, at the end of the day, it saves your life a little bit because whenever you have to put like things folded nicely in your drawer, what I did is I would um, keep like two that I never touched the whole entire duration that I was there and then just kept it folded in my drawer or my locker and never touched it the whole time because I did not like folding this stuff over and over again. It just made my life a lot easier. You're gonna wanna want socks. Eventually they uh, issue them. Like the second day I was there, I was actually really shocked because when my husband went to BMT two years ago, um, he only, I think it was like a week, he had to wait for all this stuff to get issued. And then I got mine the second day that I was there, which was really cool because I did not pack the right clothing. So, as far as underwear goes, I got granny panties. Um, these were amazing. Um, whenever you're in the hot sun, I went like in the worst time to go to BMT. Um, these were so freaking comfortable. I didn't get wedgies. If you take a thong, you're dumb. So don't be that girl, um, cause it's not comfortable. It's freaking hot. You're sweating. If it's cold, whatever, I still think it's stupid because there's no point you need a thong. Just get comfortable underwear and you'll be fine. But yeah, these were also at Walmart. Uh, the majority of all that I took to BMT was from Walmart because I was like, I'm not able to spend all this money. It's ridiculous. I'm only there for uh, seven and a half weeks. So, mm. so there's that. My outfit that I wore to BMT. This isn't the shirt that I wore. I couldn't find it. It was just like this, though, black from Walmart. I think I spent like two, three dollars on it. Um, so, like, it's really long, super plain, not a v-neck, nothing on the back. Super simple. You're going to want to not stand out. So, for me, it was like, and the plain, the better. The more plain, the better. So, there's that. They say to take a belt. I just bought this plain belt from Walmart. Um, I didn't see why we needed it, but I was glad it worked because I didn't stand out. Everyone was wearing one, so just get one. For pants, and this is, I don't know if I said this already, this is the outfit that I wore to BMT. Um, I'm really glad I did because it was super comfortable. I wasn't worried about if I was going to stand out, so that was really nice. Um, I bought these jeans, and they're boot cut. I remember I looked so ridiculous. I was walking through the airport texting my friend, and I was like, I look a hot mess. I'm in freaking bootcut jeans. My shirt's freaking tucked in. I have tennis shoes on. Like, this is so ugly, but whatever. Whenever you, like, see more people who are going to BMT through um, your connecting flights, you're like, mm, I don't care anymore. Anyways, these jeans, yeah, they're long, bootcut. I got a size up because I just wanted to be comfortable. Like I said, it was hot. 
Um, I didn't want to wear shorts. Don't wear shorts. There's people that go there in shorts and it's just not worth it because you're targeted immediately. But these are Levi's. They're kind of expensive, but it was so worth it. They're really stretchy. Um, and this was, I think I took another pair of jeans. They were skinny jeans, but the reason why I took it was because I wanted an outfit for when I went to tech school, which is really smart. Um, if you want to do that, just pack really simple outfits. I think I took a pair of jeans and then like softy running shorts or whatever, and then some extra random t-shirts or whatever, but I think it was like two or three, nothing that was outrageous. Just something to be comfortable in so I could wear the first night I got there. So for tennis shoes, this is actually the first thing I bought. Get comfortable tennis shoes. Um, when you get there, they give you the option to pick whether you want the ones that are issued to you or the ones that you brought. I wanted the ones I bought because I had no idea. Either way, they give you both. Um, I really like these. They're like Adidas Cloud Foam something. They've been through some things, obviously. They look a hot mess, but they're comfy. Uh, for my hair, I'm probably going to make a separate tutorial for my work hair every day. Um, so, subscribe and like if you want to see that. Um, I brought two brushes. I have really curly, coarse hair. Um, I brought this to detangle my hair whenever I take a shower at night, whatever, and this was my saving grace. I did my hair at night, but I'll go through my BMT experience in another video. But yeah, two brushes for me because, yeah, I needed it. Before I left BMT, I had absolutely no idea what hair gel I needed, what products I needed, what would be the best or whatever. Um, so I think I took, I don't even, I think I just took mousse, which is really stupid. So don't do that if you have really curly hair or you're biracial, dumb, it doesn't hold your hair down, you'll look like a hot mess in two hours. Um, when I went to BMT, you have very limited options. It's the shop at, and I think that's the only store you go to while you're there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because the big BX you don't, you're not authorized to go to. So I picked this up like my first or second trip to the BX. Um, it was the only gel that they had, but I quickly found out that my husband's home. Conscious. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Anyway. So this gel, it's Eco Styling Gel. I think they have like three different kinds. It was this and then some stuff that just won't work for our hair. So this, I, and I still use this. I can't find anything else. I mean, I use like Gorilla Glue for like my baby hairs, but that's about it. It's Eco for now. And I'm not really sure it's, if it's good for your hair or not, but it works. Toothbrush. And then this little container. I don't really know where I got this from, but it says True Utility on the bottom. I think I might have gotten this in BMT at one of the shop that runs or something, but I put like a whole pack of um, bobby pins in it, and I kept it the whole duration, and I think I used maybe five bobby pins all the entire time. <clears throat> and then this container. You don't have to get one as big as this, but one this size or like maybe half the size. Um, I appreciated it because it kept like all my little stuff together, like the gel, my brushes, my toothbrush in this little container in my drawer, which was nice because I didn't like it. how every time I would open up my drawer and it would just go everywhere, all the things in it anyway. And then I put like my tampons, pads, and stuff in there, which... When you have a Mel MTI, you do not want them seeing. It's kind of embarrassing or whatever, but I just kept it in here so they wouldn't have to go through it for him and for me. And then my wallet, of course. Um, you have like a civilian luggage, so they'll take this bag away from you right from the beginning. You'll do a thing that's called a bag drag. And um, basically you lay out all your stuff on the bed and they go through make sure everything's authorized. And then you get this little tag, and you write like your name and the last for your social or your laundry mark or whatever, and then you put how many bags. 
And then I kept all my like important like stuff in there because I knew it would be locked away and no one could access it. So, and it had like my social, my driver's license, my car keys were in there, stuff like that. So I'll be linking all the stuff I have in the description. So like, subscribe. I'm going to be talking about Mel the Mel life. Um, probably my hair tutorial for work every day because it was an experiment figuring out how to do my hair for work and it being regs. So I did forget a few items in my packing list, so just refer to this. Um, I will be sharing future videos about mill to mill life and just my BMT experience overall, so like and subscribe.